Hello and welcome to episode 5 of my season challenge on F1 2012 and for this race we're going to the United States of America for the United States Grand Prix and I'm beating Jean-Eric Verne in my rival challenge with him and if I beat him in this race as well I'll take his drive. So straight into qualifying. Um, similarly to the last circuit, Canada, this is a circuit I quite enjoy and here's uphill towards turn one and then making a nice connection with the apex through there and then this sequence of corners which are all very fast pretty much full throttle or near enough full throttle and sweeping right then left right then left and then right again there and then another left and it's quite a nice feeling through there if you get it right of building up speed through those corners and then the little kink there down to another big braking zone before the long straight in this circuit where the DRS zone is and I'm ahead of uh, the fastest man well the fastest man apart from me so on for pole at the moment so this is going very well this lap and then another big big braking zone down to this slow left hander and then a few quite slow corners here around the midpoint of the circuit this corner I find quite tricky because it's sort of braking and turning at the same time and I don't really do it very well there and that's probably cost me a bit of time and you can see there that's Hamilton just ahead of me as we go through this sequence of fast right handers and now into the last two corners this left hander and then another left hander sort of a 90 degree maybe slightly more than 90 degrees and so now back onto the pit straight and I'm very close behind Hamilton so I should be in a good position here on the grid let's have a look as I come across the line fifth only a tenth and a half back but still fifth which means it's very competitive up at the front Hamilton from Alonso from Vettel Button and then me and then Weber and Massa, Raikkonen and Schumacher, Grosjean and Jean-Eric Verne's all the way back in 15th so I'm 10 places ahead of him going into this Grand Prix which bodes well for the rival challenge obviously so now into the race 5 laps as with every race in the season challenge and there we go going out onto the track and my screen's gone a bit funny for a moment there but hopefully now it's sorted it out looks to have done so yep so right we go onto the grid for race five There's quite a few world champions in fast cars around me and well, we could be looking at a podium here. I would expect to beat Jean-Éric Verne here. It would be a bit of a disaster if I was to lose 10 places from here. As we go away on the start, and that's a good start. Although I'm a bit boxed in between Button and Vettel, and I back off a bit into Turn 1, but then cast up the inside and go past Vettel, up into 4th, and Alonso's lost out to Button. And I'm alongside Alonso and go around the outside of him in, up into third. So it's a McLaren 1-2. And then it's me in third place. As we come through this opening sequence of, of corners. And I'll try and get as close to Jensen Button as possible. Although I lose a bit of time there. Because this back straight is a good overtaking opportunity even without DRS. I've got a lot of curse to deploy. And I've closed in on him through the braking zone and now I'm using up that curse to try and get in his slipstream but he's still pulling away because he's obviously got a more powerful engine than me in the catering compared to the McLaren Mercedes but he's broken very early and I've gone up the inside and that's P2 now what a start this is we could be looking at a win let alone finishing on the podium or beating John Eric Verne as I go a bit wide in that corner 
and then through the fast right-handers behind Lewis Hamilton nearly going wide through the right-handers and coming towards the end of lap one and I got a warning for corner cutting which I don't really understand but there you go so the end of lap one now into lap two and I Vern is still 15th and I hope that I can stick with Hamilton be nice to be in a position where I'm not just holding up the guys behind me while while he gets away and I look to have made up a bit of ground coming through this opening sector and yet purple which means I'm the fastest on track and then a little bit wide through that corner which leads on into this corner and you need to have a tight line through there if you want to make good time but I've lost a bit there but how will I do now going out onto the back straight I seem to have caught him slightly and now I'm using some of my curves to stay within touch within touching distance down the long straight and now breaking down into this left hander and I've missed the apex there by about a foot but I don't seem to have lost too much time and purple again in the second sector eight tenths behind Lewis Hamilton so within DRS range and wide again through that turn I'd say if anyone there's a similar corner to that in Bahrain where you, it's the combination of braking and turning at the same time which is difficult to accomplish on a controller I get another warning for corner cutting, I don't understand what they're for. Maybe it's because I'm going outside of the track on the outside as I exit from the second to last corner, but corner cutting seems a bit strange to say that. As I set the fastest lap, purple in every sector, and I'm really close behind Lewis now. In that McLaren and through sector one, for the third time and I'm really closing up on Hamilton now and purple again another purple sector can I stick with Lewis through this sector I've lost a bit there and that's allowed him to get away I might still be in the DRS zone and I've gone wide there as well eager to get back on the power and I have got DRS so can I close up on Lewis and overtake him here? It looks like I've, I'm a bit too far away and I'm already hitting the limiter, so not this time. I'm braking early because with the DRS you have to adjust your braking a bit as I go wide through that right hander but managed to recover. And that was better through there. Still not hitting the apex, but getting closer. And just trying to follow Hamilton's line through these corners. And no warning for corner cutting that time, so I think it was me running outside the line of the track on the outside rather than cutting a corner on the inside. And a slightly quicker lap from me there, and closing in on Hamilton. If I what I did wrong last lap was I let him get away in that little section of corners just before the the long back straight. So these ones were fine, but then it was... And I've gone wide. Oh, that's not good. I've lost a lot of time there. Can I keep it tight through here now? It's better. It's still not great. And he's... Not quite a second in front, but a few tenths. Can I catch him in this corner? I'd look to have... Yes, I have. I've caught him up through that turn. This is a much better opportunity now. DRS, seventh gear. Kurz, and I'm slipstreaming as well. And looking on the outside. Who's going to break first? He does. I'm on the outside, but I've, I've got it. I've got the lead. I have taken the lead for the first time and I've got the corner <laughs> but anyway yeah 
in the lead for the first time in this rival challenge and leading a race in the caterer and I've got just over a lap now to hold on to this with Hamilton about a second adrift now and it's going to be all about whether I can stay out of his DRS zone on the final lap as I'm not as quick as I could have been through there and he's caught up a bit towards the end of the lap so it's going to all come down to this final lap and he's just over half a second adrift and John Eric Vern's all the way back in 17th so we're not worried about the rival challenge this is about getting the win it looks like my seat at Toro Rosso is secure but it would be really nice to get a win against the McLarens behind me although Lewis is three tenths it's not enough of a gap I don't think yeah he's literally right up behind me this is going to be hard to defend I might have to use a bit more curves than I have been doing miss the apex slightly there and get a decent exit so this is it this is the race pretty much right here but Hamilton's got DRS and he's closing up and I'm going to have to move to the middle and he goes on the outside and he takes the position easily and I'm not going to be able to outbreak him from there so I've lost the lead again I'm trying to cut back on but I'm on the outside for the next corner so ooh, it was close there so he holds on but can I stay up the inside for this turning no I back out backed out of that one hit the apex better then and coming through the right handers now but I've gone wide I've gone wide I'm on the grass and that that will be that that will be well can I hold on to P2 now because Button's right there and Hamilton has got the win secured pretty much as long as I don't spin there because I've got a bit of wheel spin there but I'm okay it's going to be P2 very nice P2 best performance by far and John Oakfern back in 16th, so 14 places clear of him. No contest, really. And a British podium, look at that. Very nice. So, yeah, that's, um, that's the end of this race in the United States. And just running through the results there, see John Oakfern 16th, and my teammate down in 21st place. So easily beating both of them. And I'm up to 7th now in the Drivers' Championship with the 18 points I got there and the 8 from the Canada race. So moving into decent points scoring position in the Championship, which is nice. And yeah, so now I'll have a seat at Toro Rosso, which is a step in the right direction probably could have gone for, for a, a better rival considering the way the results have gone in Canada and now here and here's the podium celebrations just showing Lewis a bit of love there and that's it for this video guys I will see you for part 6